Guys, I'm here with uh, Maddie Hamilton. Uh, Maddie is our 15 to 18 girls winner with a total of one over par, 145. Uh, Maddie, I know you're being followed by a college recruit from FSU. Um, did that put any extra added pressure for uh, the tournament? Um, a little bit. So um, I haven't played in a week, so I hadn't really been used to scoring. So I was kind of nervous a little bit, but once I got it going, it just started to fall into place. Sounds good. Um, I know obviously you were leading after the first day. You shot 74 yesterday. Um, what was it like? What were your thoughts through the night um, getting ready for today? Um, well, I've been in the lead a lot before, so I've had a lot of experience with that. So it was pretty good, just nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, today's final round, um, you and uh, one of the other competitors, Ma, you guys were both two under through 13 holes. Um, you guys had a pretty close battle. Um, was there anything that you did differently to maybe hold her off? Um, no, I just kept playing my game and putting the ball in the right spot and making sure I stayed patient. All right, perfect. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, guys, I'm here with the boys 11 to 14 winner, Joseph Steyer. Uh, he had a 138 for, sorry, a 148 total four over par. Uh, Joseph, uh, you had the first round lead. Uh, what was it like sleeping on the lead? Like, what were you thinking about throughout the night? Um, it was different having the lead since I haven't had the lead a lot before. So we just knew um, no big numbers and just, you know, fairway, green, two points. You know, no, not taking too many big risks, but, you know, taking your points. All right, perfect. Uh, you know, obviously, it ended up being really close coming down the stretch. You had to know that shot I was really close to you when it came to your score. Um, did you try and play anything differently? Like, did it put any more pressure on you? Um, I was actually behind the tree on 18, so I um, didn't hit the 8-iron to get on the green. I hit a 54 to make sure I had enough loft to get over um, the tree. So um, just kind of made him have to birdie the tie. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what do you think probably was like the easiest thing to help? Like, did a caddy help you today? Like, what was your, uh, what was the best suit that helped you out today? The best thing was my dad actually had um, helped me a lot reading the greens and got to knock down a lot of five foot bump bumps. All right, perfect. All right, thanks a lot and congratulations. I'm here with Siphon He, our girls, uh, 11 to 14 year old age division winner. Uh, she shot 500 par, 139. Uh, Siphon, uh, you know, you shot three under the first day. Uh, what was it like to uh, sleep with the lead? Um, you obviously were leading by quite a bit. She's pretty happy with it. Um, obviously today uh, you followed it up with a really good round of 270. Um, was there anything you did differently today to maybe maintain your pace? Uh, she felt more relaxed. All right, congratulations. Thank you. All right, I'm here with the boys, 15 to 18 winner, John Augustin from uh, Owensboro, Kentucky. Shot a six under par, 138. Uh, John, what was uh, your mentality coming into the term? I mean, you're playing at your home golf course. Uh, I mean, I was pretty confident coming in because I had just come off a win at the U.S. Junior Amateur Qualifier, and you know I was. I usually play pretty well here, but it's it's different playing at your home course because you almost have more expectations and you gotta kind of block those out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I know you shot first round 369. Uh, that gave you the lead. What did you do differently uh, through the night to possibly come out and maintain that lead? Nothing. Nothing really. uh, you came out today. You had a hot start. You're four under through five holes. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, you can't get too confident ever on a golf course. So, what did you do to kind of keep that mentality, keep it going, and try and stay under par? Uh, you know, I don't ever like backing off. You know, you always got to keep aggressive, keep with your game plan. But, uh, you know, I just try to make pars, and when birdies came, take advantage of them. Uh, you know, it's just good. When you got a lead, you always want to just play for pars. Yeah, know? definitely. All right, well, congratulations again. Thank you.